Hello everyone and welcome to today's video. I'm Simon and I'm here with Brett. No, nope. and there's Silver and guess what? What? He's waving. Okie dokie. And guess what he's about to do? I don't understand why you've got to guess if somebody's waving. Normally you'd see them waving. <laughs> right. And guess what he's about to do? What? He's about to show you something. What? You're going to ruin the planned intro that I had. No. Yes you are. He needs a problem. Anyway, <laughs> I was out shopping this week and I picked up some Ghostbusters figures. Now these are slightly different to ones I've seen before because I think the last Ghostbusters figures I got which were small, I think they were by Funko, if I'm right. They were like Funko ones. But these are very similar, but... They're not. They are called the Loyal Subjects. So manufactured by Fabrique. It says the loyal subjects wave too. So a bit different. I've not seen these before. I found these in uh, a B&M bargains. But I've been in two B&M bargains and there was only in one of them. And the thing about that shop is one shop will start selling stuff and the other ones don't necessarily have them. Because there's, there's three B&M bargains in the town where I live. And I've been to two, and out of two where only one's got there, and I wouldn't mind going to the other. So what they've got is, first of all, you've got... E and it's kind of weird as well, because they've, they've done it that... You can get these four. No, hang on. There's some limited editions, but you can see what you get. So you've got Egon Spengler, which is slimed, which you can get out of e out of 12. There's supposed to be like two in the box. So this is two out of 12 for Peter Venkman. 2 out of 12 for Ray Stance and 2 out of 12 for Winston Zedmore and these have all been slimed and then we go to this side you've got 2 out of 12 for Zool the Kate Gatekeeper 2 out of 12 for the, the translucent Slimer but he's the room service um, he's got the room service cart with him 1 out of 48 for the Library Ghost and one out of 24 for goes of the Destructor. And this one's supposed to be glow in the dark and so is the Library Ghost. So they're hard to get. And then on the back you've got Dana Barrett which is one out of 96. Then you've got these two here which is Winston Zedmo which is the Stay Puffed Splatter. And it says Club 28. Trademark. So, yeah, so I don't really know what this Club 28 is. So you've got Egon with the Stay Puffed Splatter as well. And then you've got a gold edition room service cut Slimer. And the question so, is so. The thing is with these three, the, Dana Barrett, it says it's difficult to get, so she's rare because she's 1 in 96. The Library Ghost 148 and the Gozo is 1 in 24, which means that these would be in the boxes that we, we got them out of. But these three, I'm not so sure because it doesn't say a number of how many would be available. And it's kind of weird, it's got this Club 28 now. But let's have a look at what ones we got. And then we'll open weird, some up. I only have two of them. Hey. We've got all four slimed, but only two of them Yeah. like that. A bit weird. But I've never seen these before. I quite. I thought they looked quite cool with the, the way that these models are always made, with Ray with the Ecto goggles on them. I don't think they're called Ecto goggles, but... But these ones are poseable, so the legs bend. I'm not sure about the arms. So we will open one of these. So we'll show you what we've got, and then we'll open one. So who's next? So the next one is a choice. No, I just pass one. Okay, but pick one. All right, I want uh, Egon. Let's see guess which one it is, though. That one. How do you know? Because I saw you pick it up. That's what I thought. <laughs> so here's Egon. With his splatter on him. His waist looks a bit funny there though. Oh, and these do come with accessories. So the, the actual Ghostbusters come with a radio for three of them, but Ray comes with a trap and Egon comes with a PKE meter. So if, it'll be in that little packet at the side. Hopefully nobody's nicked any of it. So, which one now? Oh, you cheat. Ah, uh, this one. Okay, but which is, who is it? I'm going with Peter Finkman. Are you sure? Yeah. Positive? Yeah. Are oh, you correct? Haha. <laughs> that was a good guess. So here's Peter Finkman. 
They do look cool. Ah, here's um, Proton. Wand has been a bit bent. Hmm. I might open that one. Now which one? <sighs> Middle. Who is it? The dog. Oh. Come on. <laughs> you ain't giving me it, so I know it's all the, ta the gatekeeper, which is the tower dog. Oh. Gozer then. No. Oh, come on, just pass it over. I'll give a clue and nowhere near. <sighs> then. Winston. Pain in the bum. This one's out of the packaging. Right there. I hope people haven't been opening these. But never mind. So you've got Winston there, and he's got a nice big splodge of green on his head. <laughs> they look good. I like the way they're made. So these are the final three. Okay, dokie. Which one? Middle. Who is it? Somebody. I'm going with Slimer. And the reason for that guess? Because I had one out of three to guess. And go, <laughs> come on, then, who is so it? So you're sure it's Slimer? No, I'm not. Well, get on with it. That's good to know. Well, how can I be sure if you've got the boxes not facing me so I can't see the people, you dodo brain? So you're saying, so what's your final answer? I'm going to say Slimer because it was a guess. That's your final answer? Yes. Are you correct? Hey? Ha! <laughs> Slimer. I like this one. It's got the um, cart in the back in a packet. So we I don't know which one we're going to open. Which one? Right, uh, I'll go with that one. And it is? It's a tear dog. Yeah, tear dog. So you're saying this one's a tear dog? Not now. I think Gozer now. So you're saying this one's Gozer? Yeah. Is so that your final answer? Yeah. Are you sure? No. Good. But get on with it. Because you were right. <laughs> uh, Gozer. Got loads of little bumps and stuff on her. Does she, what does she come with? Oh, lightning. Little bits of lightning. Effective. She's quite cool. Right, come on up. Put your hand. <sighs> that one. I'm saying right. I'm saying the one with the finger. <laughs> You're changing <laughs> it. You're a cheat anyway. Just pass me the dog. These terror dogs, so you seem to get on everything. I've I got a big version of this, the little version, and this one now. You know you've messed up the tail, don't you? <laughs> I didn't do anything with this tail. What are you on about? Tower. So which one do you want to open? I suppose. The Ray has a, a trap with him. Egon has a PK well meter with him. Open he has... the one that's not the best. What? Whichever well, one's not the greatest. Well, no, let's open one. I'll tell you what, move him. Let's open Ray and have a look at his trap. I thought you were say you him. I said Ray. You were just said Peter. So, here's the packaging. That's right, so, such a small trap. That's the trap. And yeah, that's pretty cool. Got a nice bit of detail on it. And then you've got this little minute walkie talkie. I'll put it down so that the camera can uh, see it. See it. And when she's ready, I'll turn it round for her. Oh, I hope I don't break this. This feels so delicate. His legs in bad days. Hey, his legs are in bad days. Yeah, he's got very little joints on his feet. Hmm. Right, so and there's the other side. Camera got that. Right, I'll tell you what you could do, Brett. Yes. Bring over. Oh look, they got a little card in there as well. Yeah. Bring over that. So you've got a little card with a bit of detail around it. So. Dr. Raymond, Ray, actually put put him on the on that and turn it gently, right, gently. So it says, Dr. Raymond Ray Stans is one of the original Ghostbusters and the most devoted to the pursuit of studying the paranormal. Ray displays a level of exuberance when it comes to Ghostbusting and paranormal science in general, unmatched by any of his colleagues. And then the back of the card just shows you all the ones you could get. So pretty cool. I like that. Nice little bit of an extra touch in there. Right, 
Right there. So, he had that. So, shall we share the PK meter? You may as well share all of them. What? I'm not, I wasn't going to open them all because some of them ain't even got nothing. I might do Slimer and... Where's he gone? He gone. Alright. Do you say where's he gone? <laughs> right. That was a terrible joke. So. You forgot a card. Don't worry about that. Wait, show the camera the PK meter, please. <laughs> show the. So show you're the doing that bit. No, because I can kind of get Egon out of the box. So, show it to your mum. If you can, please. Funny little legs on these, huh? Do. Ray. Egon. It's in the film. When they turn on the proton packs and they go, Do. Ray. Egon. It's a nice bit of detail on that PK meter there. And it's playing on the back. That's pretty cool. They didn't put the colours for the lights on though. That's the only thing. But it's small, so I'm not going to be picky. I got to figure out where I'm going to display these somewhere. Yeah, because the thing is, in my cupboard where I've got some Ghostbusters stuff, I'm not sure if there's enough room for them. So it's a solution. Well, I have to move things around. I think they look good. I think the details are pretty decent on them. Bit. Legs are a bit um, worrying me, but I do like the detail. If you turn it around, get around to the other side, I do like the detail on the proton pack. I think that's pretty good. Face the camera right there. See the details on that? That looks pretty See decent. See each individual wire. Mm. How many cross right there? Oh, oh yeah, that's slime. <laughs> Speaking of slime, let's, uh, let's open up Slimer. I'd like to get the other ones, but if we can, if I can get to a shop that's selling these things, then I'll try and get some more, or the last ones the we need. Because we is need one. I'd like to get the library ghost. I'd like to get Dana Barrett, and then if we can, I'd like to get Winston Egon and Slimer the special ones. What did you just say? If you look at their joints on the shoulders, mm -hmm. they're this white colour. Yeah. Why does slime have the same colour? Oh yeah. Well that's not very good. I'm you struggling. Just it. Paint that bit. Yeah, I'll show the camera what you mean. So he's you got this white plastic for the hinge rather than using a green. That does kind of spoil it a little bit. But I suppose you're not gonna put it um so that you'll see that too often. A little bubble head. That doesn't work So, me. there is on here, it's kind of awkward because here's the the room service cut. So you've got a bit of purple here and a bit here from the wine. But you've got two cups and they're stuck inside the cart. That's the... That's a bit annoying. Um, so you've got a plate, a couple of plates there with like a burger on top. Oh, shall we open this one? Yeah, let's go in up. Well, I want to, I suppose I'd want to display it one day. You know, you look better out the box. So, there's the cups. Probably is lot. It's st Oh, no. Come on. Wiggle it a bit. Two years later. Well, look how stuck it is. Ah, right. So, put that there, and we'll put the plates with the hamburger on there, some cups, and there's a bottle of wine. So, pretty cool. What would you give these out of 10? I would say about six. Six? Maybe seven. Why, why that? What, what's it that makes it that low? These are start. Oh, the shoulders. I don't like why they did that one. Alright. And also, mm -hmm. the legs just look weird. They have like a massive gap in the back. They are, they do, uh, 
make me wonder how strong they would be, but they're not they're not toys for playing with anyway. Oh, so if you're going to look at Rain, you yeah. just got a weird thing with his neck. What? If you look there. Yeah, so the way they've done it where it's like a, a little bar going up with a ball on the top to make it move. But I think they look cool. I like them. Do you, There's also a little bit where... How much do you think they were there? It's about... It says... No, it doesn't I'm cheating. Say. You are cheating if you're trying to look for the price. I'm going to take a guess. They were probably £5. Yeah, £5 each. So what do you think? Do you think they're worth... Do you think they're worth £5 each? I suppose. Yeah. I like them. I think they're cool. i just got to find somewhere to display them now. So, let us know what you think in the comments. Do you like these? Will you be going to collect them? Do you think they're worth £5? And which one is your favourite? And also, have you seen any of these in the shops? Especially, have you seen any of the rare ones? But for now, thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please remember... Why are you laughing? If you like this video, please consider subscribing. It is 100% free to do. But for now, hopefully, don't break them. Hopefully, we'll see you next time. Bye bye. Bye. I think they're waving. Why don't they blast in? Yeah, that'd be cool. No. Yeah, your mum used to like doing all this stuff. How about uh, you might be uh, destroying that bear a little bit, eh? What bear? <laughs> right, bye bye. Bye. And he's waving. And now he's also got a new friend. At least he got one. Those are the destructor. And this one's supposed to be glow in the dark. And